Hello everyone. In this lesson, I will tell you how you can install and set up Go in your local environment to run your programs. Uh, we'll be targeting Mac OS for this session. So in this session, we'll be doing a couple of things. That is, we'll tell you how to install Go, how to install the ID and which ID you can use, how to set up ID to run your program, and how to set up your ID to debug the program. And also we'll talk about certain challenges that you may encounter doing, do, doing that. So first, we'll tell you how you can install Go. So to install Go, you can go to the website as in my screen, go.dev, click on download. Once you click on download, so there are certain version of installers available. You just need to identify which version you're using, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, or you want the source code, just download the installer and install it in your system once you have done it. So you're done with the installing. Installation, it's pretty easy, huh? Nothing requires to be done. Now, once you have installed Go, how you can verify whether the Go is installed or not, go to your terminal, write down the command Go version, and if you'll write down the command and you can see Go version printed on your screen, like I am using Go version, Go 1.16.6 and Darwin slash AMD64 is the operating system that I am using. This simply means that Go is installed in my system. Now, once you have installed Go, there are two more things that you are required to do. Basically, you are required to check for two of the variables or the Go variables, which I will recommend to do you to do so because they may encounter issues for you at a later stage. So let me tell you what these variables are. The very first variable is uh, go path. So it is a variable that defines the root of your workspace, basically where all your programs and everything will be go going once you'll write them. Now, the other variable is the go root. Now, go root is a variable that defines where a go SDK is located. So basically where your go actual SDK is lo located that will run all your programs. So let's check what are the varied values of these variables. So I'll write down echo go root. So this is what my go path is. Now let's check what is in this path. Terminal. Now you saw the go executable and the go format executable is present here. Now let's check for go path. Now, this is my workspace path where all my programs and everything will go when I write in Go. So these are the two variables. If these are not set, then you are you will be required to set them for your convenience so that you should not encounter any of the issue once you have installed Go. And now, Go is installed in your, in your system and you're ready to run your program, but you're ready with the Go environment set up in your local. Now, the next step is to identify and run the ID in your system. So we recommend the use of Visual Studio Code. For installing the Visual Studio Code, you have to go to website code.visualstudio.com, go and download the OS version installer and thus install it, and you'll be all set for installing the Visual Studio Code. So I have already installed Visual Studio Code in my machine for you. So let me open Visual Studio Code. This is the Visual Studio Code. Now, the next step for me is <clears throat> to set up my Visual Studio Code so that I can write and run Go program within the Visual Studio Code. Now, to do this, once I have opened the Visual Studio Code, I'll go to Settings, I'll go to Extensions. In the Extensions, I'll search for Go. Now you see, this is the Go environment extension support for Visual Studio Code, which has been created by Google Go team at Google. I'll just install it. So it's very easy to install. Now it is installed and my IDE is all set to run. Now, by just doing that, I can write Go programs in my Visual Studio code and I can run those programs as well. Now, on top of it, I will suggest to install certain extensions for the IDE as well. Now, how you can do this? Once you have installed the Go extension, uh, press Command Shift P. Now you see, once you install, press Command Shift P, you can see this thing, Go install update tools. If you'll not see this, then you just have to write Go install and this will pop up like this install update tools now select the go install update tools and once you have you'll get certain extensions now each of these extensions have a specific meaning now select them and click on ok so now what will happen if you can see in my terminal that it will install the extensions or the uh, 
available or the selected extensions one by one. Each of these extensions is important. See, some of them uh, like uh, extensions can be for syntax checking, extensions can be for debugging, extensions can be for helping you write the unit test, extensions can be to format uh, your program automatically. So these extensions are very helpful. So this is what I will suggest to uh, install the extensions. Now the next step is to set up your ID to debug the uh, Go program. Now, by the way, with the extension, sometimes you will by default get the Dell, which will automatically extend uh, install the Dell extension in your ID so that you can uh, debug the Go program. But in case this extension is not coming to your system and you need to then you need to manually add that Delve extension to your Visual Studio code for debugging your Go program. Now, what you can do, go for it is, go to Google and write down Go Delve. Now you see, this is the debugger. You just have to go to github.com slash go dash Delve slash Delve. Go to installer and just follow the steps to install this is installer in your Visual Studio code and you are all set to run debug and publish your program from or publish your GoLack program for Go. Now, but with this session, everything is done. We have installed Go, we have installed ID. We have set up the ID to run the program. We have set up the ID to debug the program. In the future sessions, we'll understand how you can uh, write the basic programs within the Go. Thank you very much.